If you've seen the headlines today, you would know a blame game is on. A massive blast ripped through a hospital in Gaza, a tragedy which has killed 500 people. We are all outraged. Everyone wants an answer. Who bombed the Gaza hospital? The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry says Israel was behind the bombing. Israel pins the blame squarely on a misfired rocket by Palestine's Islamic Jihad group. We don't know what or who was behind this heinous crime, but in the next few minutes, let me tell you why the Palestine Islamic Jihad group is making headlines again. Question number one. What is the Palestinian Islamic Jihad or PIJ? If you go back to the beginning, the PIJ is believed to be an ally of Hamas. The latter rules Gaza and opposes the very creation of Israel. The Islamic Jihad has been designated as a terrorist organization by the U.S. State Department. The group's founders are Fatih Shakaki and Abd al-Aziz Oda. They were students in Egypt. They were members of the Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood, which was a Sunni Islamist movement founded by Hassan al-Banna in 1928. Sometime in the late 1970s, the two founders felt that the Muslim Brotherhood was not fully devoted to the Palestinian cause. Reports say they were inspired by the Iranian revolution, so they created the Palestinian Islamic Jihad with one motive, to support the Palestinian cause and destroy Israel. By 1981, the Palestinian Islamic Jihad was exiled to Gaza by Egypt's government. This was after President Anwar el-Sadat was assassinated. In Gaza, the PIJ acts as a decentralized organization. Reports say that its functions are different from other extremist groups in the region, like Hamas, Fateh and Hezbollah. It has one goal, to attack Israel and establish a Palestinian state in the West Bank, Gaza and other areas that they see as illegally occupied by Israel. So the Palestinian Islamic Jihad is an armed group. In fact, it is the second largest armed group in Gaza. It's also sharply critical of the Palestinian Authority and its policies. The PIJ also does not participate in politics. It limits its role to military confrontations with Israel. In fact, at times, the Islamic Jihad works independently of Hamas. Now, who are the members of this group? The current Secretary General is Ziad al-Nakhala. He was born in the Gaza Strip in 1953. Reports say many of the group's senior members have been killed by Israel. In fact, the group's founder, Fatih Shakaki, who was a physician, was assassinated in Malta in 1995. Back in May this year, the PIJ had announced that three of its commanders were killed in Israeli airstrikes. They had pledged to avenge their deaths back then. But let's talk about attacks carried out by the Islamic Jihad. In 1987, the group killed an Israeli military police commander in Gaza. In 1994, a car bomb attack killed nine and injured 50 aboard a public bus. In 1995, a suicide bomb claimed by the group in Israel's Netanya killed 18 soldiers and one civilian. There are many more such incidents. Next question, who funds the Palestinian Islamic Jihad? It is believed that Iran supplies the Islamic Jihad with training, with expertise, with money. But most of the weapons are locally produced. And while its base is Gaza, this group also has influence in the West Bank town of Jenin and is believed to maintain close ties with Iranian officials from Lebanon and Syria. Another important question, is the Islamic Jihad group a big threat? Well, Israel says yes. The Israeli military has said in the past that the group was responsible for rocket attacks against Israelis in occupied West Bank. But as this war continues to claim many, many more innocent lives, it begs the question, are Hamas and Islamic Jihad the same? No. Reports say that Islamic Jihad is the smaller of the two Palestinian groups currently operating in Gaza. The PIJ is outnumbered by Hamas, but it has its own weaponry. Unlike Hamas, the Islamic Jihad does not intend to fight for political office or open any kind of diplomatic channels with Israel. The relationship between the two may have been tense, as Hamas has told the Islamic Jihad to stop attacks on Israel in the past. But more often than not, both the groups are united against Israel. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.